I want to show you something. And I need you to understand that my hands are not touching the keyboard. I'm going to ask an AI agent to multiply 127 by 43 using the calculator app. No API, no automation script, no Selenium, just vision. I am not touching anything. The mouse moves in its own. Click the calculator icon, types numbers, and finally gets the result. That's not a script. That's not how coded. That's an AI observing the screen, understanding what it sees, and acting like a human would. And in the next 12 minutes, you are going to build it. Look, ABIs are great. We covered that in Pillar 1 with MCP. But here's the problem. 90% of the software you daily use doesn't have an API. Your design tools, your legacy enterprise software, and even some modern apps. They are like black box to traditional AI agents. This tutorial is for developers who have hit the API wall. If you know Python and you have built a basic AI agent, you are ready. Let's give our AI eyes and hands. I spent three months automating desktop workflows for a client's legacy ERB system. No APIs, no documentation, just a graphical user interface from 2003. Visual AI automation saved that project. And OpenAI Computer Use Agent Model, it's the first vision model that's actually reliable for production. This tutorial is for developers who have hit the API wall. If you know Python and you have built a basic AI agent, you are ready. Let's give our AI eyes and hands. Demo first. No cuts, no tricks. Three different tasks increasing in complexity. First, the calculator. The agent needs to find the app icon. Click it and perform a calculation. Second test, create a new text file with specific content. The agent has to find the app, navigate menus, and type, watch how it handles the menu system. It's not following a script. It's seeing the file menu, understanding what save as means, and clicking it. Final test, this one requires reasoning. Find the largest number on my desktop and open it in calculator. There are three sticky notes on my desktop with number 42, 156, and 89. The agents need to read all three, determine which is largest, and then use the calculator. That's the power of visual AI. It's not just clicking, it's understanding. Three completely different tasks. Same agent, no custom code per task. That's the power of visual autonomy. Okay, reality check time, because I'm not going to sell you a fantasy. Visual AI works perfectly for legacy software without APIs, desktop applications with graphical user interfaces, tasks where user interface changes frequently, prototyping automation before building proper integrations. But it's not ideal for high frequency operation as APIs are faster and cheaper, Mission critical banking or healthcare, there is too much risk, task requiring millisecond precision, situations where one error is catastrophic. I have used this in production for data entry, quality assurance automation, and legacy system integration. But I know who want to say, build an API. The key is to know which tool to use and the one. Success rate for simple tasks it's about 94%. And for complex multi-step tasks, it's between 75 to 80%. So you need error handling, retry logic, and human verification for critical workflow. Video agents are everywhere right now. But if you are building in Arabic, you have basically got two options, Whisper or Speechmatics. 
and whisper just doesn't cut it. Here's a simple phrase. I'm going to the airport. Watch whisper stumble. It hears, I'm going to the river. And background chatter or noise and the errors only multiply. Speechmatix nails it. Ana zahib ila al matar. Exactly as spoken. And it doesn't stop there. You get speaker diarization so it knows who's talking. And a custom dictionary to handle brand names, technical terms, and the word whisper just cannot. With over 380 million Arabic speakers worldwide, this matter. But it's not just Arabic. Speechmatics deliver this level of accuracy in 55 plus languages across accent, noise, and real world conditions. So if you want agents that actually work, Speechmatic is the only serious choice. And because you are watching, they are giving $200 free credits to try it yourself. Just sign up, add a card, and use the promo code ATF200. It's only available to the first 100 people who use the code, so don't miss out. Sign up today and build your own production-ready agent with accuracy you can trust. So whether you are giving your agent eyes to see screens, ear to hear voices, or hands to control applications, autonomy is about enabling human-like capabilities. And that's what Pillar 2 is all about. Now let's build the desktop agent. Time to get our hands dirty. All right, setup time. You will need three things. Python 3.9 or later, OpenAI API key, three Python packages. PyAutoGen graphical user interface handles mouse and keyboard control. Pillow captures screenshots and OpenAI provides the vision intelligence. One important note on macOS, you will need to grant accessibility permissions for PyAuto graphical user interface to control your mouse and keyboard. The system will prompt you the first time you run the code. We are building this in four layers, eyes, brain, hands, and the main loop. Let's start with the vision. The vision system has one job, capture what's on screen and prepare it for the AI. By auto graphical user interface, screenshot function grabs the entire screen. We could optimize this later by capturing specific regions, but for now, full screen works fine. OpenAI's vision API expect page 64 encoded images. This helper convert our PIL image to the right format. The brain is where visions meet decision making. This is what makes it intelligent instead of just automated. This system prompt is critical. It tells the AI what action it can take and how to format responses. We are asking for JSON so we can parse the response correctly. See how we are sending both text and image? That's the key to Vision AI. The model sees the screenshot and understands the task context simultaneously. The actuator translates AI decisions into physical actions. This is where we control the mouse and keyboard. Notice the 0.5 second sleep after clicking. Desktop UIs need time to respond. Without this delay, the agent would move too fast and miss UI state changes. The interval parameter in TypeWrite simulates human typing speed. Too fast and some app drop keystrokes. Now we tie it all together. The main loop coordinates eyes, brain, hands, until the task is complete. This is crucial. Without a max iteration limit, a confused agent could run forever. 20 iterations is usually plenty for desktop tasks. This is the fundamental pattern of visual AI automation. Capture, analyze, act, repeat. Simple, but incredibly powerful. Watch the logs. We can see each iteration, screenshot taken, AI reasoning, action executed. 
This transparency makes debugging much easier. Each screenshot sent to GPT-4 Vision costs about 0.01 and 0.02 US dollars, depending on resolution. So a task with five iterations costs roughly a nickel. Compare this to human labor. If a task takes you five minutes to complete and costs you 0.1 dollars, that's exactly 3,000% return on investment on your time. But if you can build an API integration at the same cost, ABIs always win. Okay, now let's talk about alternatives. Because visual AI isn't always the right choice. Use when UI is stable, you need speed, budget is zero. Use when corporate environment, non-technical users, compliance requirements. Use when no API exists, UI changes frequently, prototyping or legacy systems. So there it is, Pillar 2 Autonomy. We have built an AI agent that can see your screen, understand what's looking at, and take action, breaking free from API's wall that limits most AI systems. You now have the architecture for visual AI automation. The code is in the description. Every line commented, ready to run. Here's your mission. I want you to automate one tedious task that you do every day on your computer. Could be organizing files, filling out forms, or exporting data. Anything that makes you think, I wish this was automatic. Next week, Pillar 3, Collaboration. We have built a powerful agent. But one agent can only do so much. We are going to build a team of AI specialists that work together. A supervisor, coordinating experts. That's when things get really interesting. If you are following this playbook, hit subscribe. We are at two out of five, and each one builds on the last. Finally, I am Maat Fataya. Keep building, and I will see you in the next one.